It's been non-stop updates for Sasha Banks and Naomi over the last few days, so we'll check out what the latest news is there. We'll also see why Stephanie McMahon just left the WWE, a top star that was written off, and much more. Let's start things off with the latest on Sasha Banks and Naomi. The story is slowly getting more clear as the days go on, but still, nothing is truly locked in and for certain. But the latest update to the big story puts Vince McMahon at the forefront of the blame for the walkout. When Sasha Banks and Naomi were approached with the idea of the both of them competing in singles matches at Hell in a Cell for the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship, they countered that pitch by suggesting that they defend their women's tag team titles at Hell in a Cell against a team like Dewdrop and Nikki instead. Which makes sense, doesn't sound like their counter pitch was asking for too much. They basically just said, let us defend the women's tag team titles at Hell in a Cell and give those world title matches to some upcoming stars in the women's division. Reports claim that Vince McMahon paid no mind to the counter pitch and instead for them to do things his way only and that's apparently when the walkout happened. Now, over the last days, it has turned into a massive controversy amongst the wrestling community. People are for the walkout, other people are against it, but when you really look at the totality of everything, it doesn't seem like Sasha and Naomi were asking for much. They were the tag team champions and all they wanted to do was defend their tag team titles. They weren't asking for much, they just wanted to do what they were expected to do as a tag team champion, and that's defend the titles. And somehow, it turned into this massive situation. If this truly is the context of what happened with the walkout, then it looks like this could have been so easily avoided. All they had to do was give Sasha and Naomi a title defense at Hell in a Cell, and Sasha and Naomi would still be here right now. So you lose Sasha and Naomi just because you refuse to give them a title defense for their titles. That's a huge price to pay for something that could have easily been fixed by WWE. Speaking of Sasha and Naomi, apparently both of their contracts are coming up within the last few months. It was previously reported that Sasha was expiring in 2023, but apparently not. Reports claim that Sasha and Naomi's deals are both up this year, so it's not like an Ali situation where he was going to have to sit out a few years to get out of his contract. Sasha and Naomi only have a few months left, so they have to sit around for that long to be freed from their contracts. If WWE decides to cut ties with them and take the loss, Sasha and Naomi will be fully freed in a matter of months. Mickey James recently appeared on Busted Open Radio and shared her thoughts on the situation, saying this, quote, That's probably more about what this is, unpacking it all. If they were pouring their love into something and feeling like it wasn't valued, that's very frustrating. We can all understand being frustrated at times. I'm sure we've all had our gripes. You think it's the power of social media, but WWE is the one that pulled the trigger on letting the cat out of the bag. People are only hearing that one side of it. Honestly, when I saw the statement, I was a bit in shock that WWE would even put out the statement because I couldn't believe that Vince signed off on the statement." End quote. Mickey brings up another great point that everyone talked about right away, and that was the statement. WWE never talks about anything that happens backstage. Everything always stays under wraps. So to see them release their entire side of the story on their website, Twitter, Instagram, and all their platforms was very insane to see. That's the part what raised some suspicions about this situation being real or not because WWE has never done anything like that in the past. They've never released a statement on a backstage situation like this before. So, Mickey James was in shock that Vince McMahon would let the world in on a backstage situation like that. Booker T also addressed the situation on his show and had this to say, quote, I want to hear from Sasha Banks. I want to hear from Naomi in some form. I mean, normally these young people these days, the first thing that happens, they want to put it on Twitter. We ain't seen nothing from Sasha and Naomi. I think until we hear their side, it's kind of hard to really dive all the way into it. End quote. And that's another great point that everyone was talking about. If Sasha and Naomi feel like they're truly done with WWE, they're never going back, this was all legit, then why not release your side of the story? 
WWE went in on them during Raw with that statement. And now you have all these reports and rumors about what allegedly happened, so why not release your official statement with your side of what went down? It's really hard to dive into a story when you only have one side of the story and the other half is just completely silent on the topic. Little missing details like that is what's raising these WWE conspiracy theories to wonder if this is a storyline or not. If this is a storyline or WWE is able to get Sasha and Naomi back and turn this into a storyline, then that would be brilliant. Everyone was talking about this walkout, so all eyes are on Sasha and Naomi right now and this walkout has brought attention to the women's tag team titles. So it'll be interesting to see what WWE does with this situation and if we'll ever hear from Sasha and Naomi. In other news, Stephanie McMahon is stepping away from WWE for the time being. Stephanie took to Twitter and had this to say, quote, As of tomorrow, I'm taking a leave of absence from the majority of my responsibilities at WWE. WWE is a lifelong legacy for me and I look forward to returning to the company that I love after taking this time to focus on my family." End quote. A lot of fans were shocked and scared by this news, especially after Stephanie dropping this news only a few days after the walkout. Fans were just trying to figure out what's going on. Well, according to reports, Stephanie McMahon's reasoning for stepping down is right there in that tweet. Stephanie will be taking this time away from WWE to spend time and focus on her family. Like a lot of fans brought up, the end of last year was a bit hectic for Stephanie McMahon. She was running all of her usual operations in WWE and taking full care of her household as well since Triple H was down and out for several months following his cardiac procedure. So Stephanie was doing it all by herself at home and in WWE. But things are getting better now. It's just reported that Triple H is now back to working in WWE full time following his successful recovery. So now that Triple H is back in the office, it looks like Stephanie McMahon will be the one resting at home after this hectic year that she had. There's reportedly no timetable for Stephanie's return. Stephanie did say that it's not forever and that she will be back eventually. Mad Cat Moss recently turned babyface and was off to a hot start with the fans being behind him. So, some fans were a bit confused to see him written off of TV after building up a lot of momentum. While well, reports claim that the reason behind Moss being written off is so that they can work on a gimmick change for his character now that he's a babyface, so be on the lookout for a new character change for him when he's back. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.